Hi, this is Rachel Durek from Saber Photography, and this video is a segment of the Lightroom Overview Online class. And right now I'm going to show you the local adjustments, which are found in the upper right-hand corner right here. Um, you can see at first you've got the crop tool. I'm going to click on that crop tool, and right now you can see it's popped up on my picture. All I have to do to use the crop is uh, drag it and slide it. Right now it's set at the original aspect, which is a 4x6. If I want to change that, I can click over here and change or enter a custom. If it's uh, vertical and I want to change it to be horizontal, I'm going to drag it and pull out to the right until it pops over like that. And then you can see you can just drag your image and until, you, until you see it. If it's crooked and you want to straighten it, um, you can just kind of turn the picture like that. And it's cool because it stays within the confines. You can't overshoot it like sometimes you do in Photoshop. If you're happy, you can hit close. If you don't like it, you can hit reset. And that's what I'm going to do. Next, I'm going to choose the spot removal. And right now it's on clone. You can also set it to heal, which is similar to the clone and the healing brushes in Photoshop. Um, so I'm going to click a spot in my picture that I don't like. And automatically, Photoshop is going to choose an area that it feels uh, is a good match for that spot. If I don't like that spot, I can drag it around and, and leave it wherever I want that spot to be. If I want to change the size, I can increase it or decrease it by just dragging on it. I can change the opacity over here and the size. So if I just want it at 60% opacity, I can do that. Uh, you can have multiple spots on here, um, and you can have multiple healing spots also. If you're happy, hit close. If you want to reset it like I'm going to do, just hit reset. Next is your red eye tool, which is pretty simple. You're just going to click on the red eye. But as an aside, if you're using your flash properly, you shouldn't really need to use this tool. The next is the graduated filter, and all you do to use that is you're going to click on your picture and pull down, and you can see that filter is coming up right there. Um, and then over here on the right, you can adjust the exposure, brightness, contrast, saturation, clarity, and sharpness. Um, you can also add a color if you want. Just click on that and choose a color. So if I change the exposure, I can make it darker or brighter. I can change the saturation right there. Um, also, if I've done that and I'm not happy with it, I can just pull down on that whole filter, or I can make it bigger by dragging the bottom line down. You can have multiple filters on here if you want. Like you can see right here is my filter, and if I want to adjust that after making a second one, I'm just going to click on that red dot right there. I'm going to get rid of these, so I'm going to hit reset, but if you're happy, you just hit close. And the next brush right over here is the adjustment brush. Um, so if I want a new adjustment brush, it's similar to the gradient, only it's, you're kind of painting a circle area rather than a gradient. So I've just kind of painted right there, and you can see right here it's gotten rid of the clarity and the sharpness. Uh, of course, you can change those. If I want to change the exposure, I can just the exposure or the brightness. Um, if I want to make it bigger, I can do that also. Um, right here, you can adjust the size, the feather, the, the flow, and the density of that. Um, if you want to make another brush, you can. You can just select B as a different type of brush. You can erase part of that brush if you don't like it, or you can get rid of it altogether. You can click on it and hit delete or hit reset. Another cool thing about these brushes, right now it's at a custom brush, you can just choose exposure, brightness, or any one of these. Or if you buy uh, presets that come with uh, local, uh, local adjustment brushes, uh, like these are TRA, um, you can, like a makeup brush, I can choose a makeup brush, and that way I can just, you know, adjust the faces right here on this raw file rather than having to open it up in Photoshop. If you're happy with that, you'd hit close or reset. And that's all for the local adjustments. I hope that helps you with your editing.